go, not so fast. Now take it easy. Everything's under control, Matt. Don't worry. Watch over that tree, Joe. Joe, man, safe. Look out. Dad, I'm okay. I must have pulled a bit heavy on the brake. I know you've got the brain pattern of a bobsleigh champion, but even experts make mistakes. I'll remember, Dad. What are they firing at? I don't know. We can ask Captain Moran when we get back to Fort Chirook. Come on. It looks pretty mean up there. Important to work detail three. Come in, come in, please. Number three here, sir. Snow squalls are coming in fast, Pierre. How far out are you? Uh, that's a monument hill, sir. We'll come right in. Roger. Okay, Eddie. Let's get back to the penitentiary. We don't want to get stranded out here with those two in the back. It'll be a cinch. Two men could do it. It's just sitting there, waiting for us. And tomorrow's it. No, Ria, not a chance. I told you my parole comes up in six months. Maybe you get a parole in six months. Maybe you don't. But my way is for sure. You think about it. Okay, that's it for today. You fire as well tomorrow, and you do the old man proud. I still say the boy showed exceptional skill on that bobsleigh, Mac. He's got the makings of a champion. Thanks, Uncle Pat. Yes, he seems to have uh, caught on pretty quickly. Well, we're certainly enjoying our holiday here, Pat. It was good of you to ask us. Well, it's nice seeing an old buddy after all these years. Uncle Pat? Yes, Joe? What were those men doing firing that gun on the hill this morning? Did you see the statue? Yes. Well, that's a statue of General James McCormick. One of this country's greatest heroes. McCormick? That name sounds familiar. It should do, Mac. It's the name of our Prime Minister. Oh, of course. The General's grandson. He'll be passing through here tomorrow on his way to a conference. A mighty important one, too. Now, that gun is going to mark the occasion with a full ceremonial salute. But why are they using live ammunition, Uncle Pat? Well, it adds a touch of realism. The gun crew know what they're doing. <laughs> There's no danger. I'm not going with you, Riel, no matter what you say. You're throwing away the chance of a lifetime, kid. All right, all right. Lights out. Knock off the chat. Anything you say, guard. Escape, they'd probably die of exposure. There's just no place to go. Talking of places to go, Joe asked if he could see the gun salute tomorrow. Sure. I can take him up to Snowcap and get a good view from there. Thanks, Pat. Well, it's getting late. I'll say good night. Good night, Mac. See you in the morning. Okay, it's 6 30. 6 30. Let's roll. Come on, Real. I'll be right with you. Move it, Real. Your work detail leaves in 25 minutes.
important to work detail three. Urgent. Number three, work detail. Yeah. Get Marnie back here, on the double. Sure, Chief. But what's happened? We found a gun under his bed. You better check him out first to make sure he hasn't got another. Right. You stay here. Hey, we're stopping. It's a bit early, isn't it? Okay, you Marnie. Come on out. Slowly. What? What's this all about? Just to see if you got any more guns stashed on you. Now, just step down. Guns? What are you talking about? About how you just lost your parole, buddy boy. Uh, they're gonna put a lot of time on you for this. Ha! Quick! Get his gun. Pierre? Pierre! Work detail number three here. We're in trouble. There's been... Come on, Money. I told you, I'm not going. Come on. I'm staying. I've got to find out. Okay. You stay, and you find out how many years they're going to tack onto you for this. It was all your idea. Who's going to believe that? Not the warden. I'm offering you a way out of here, plus a lot of money. Now take it or leave it. All right, all right, I'm coming. But if I ever find out you had anything to do with this... Come on! Right, warden. I'll check it out for you right away. What is it, Pat? There's been a breakout. I have to check out the Monument Hill and Bridge area right away. I'm afraid we can't go up to Snowcap, Joe. We can't take any risks with the Prime Minister's train on its way. Prime Minister? Yes, Robbins, what is it? We're right on schedule, sir. The bridge is just a few minutes ahead. Good. All right, look sharp. The train's not far off now. Okay, that's the five-minute whistle. It's time. Let's get that gun crew. sir, and we'll pass your grandfather's statue. Good. Uh, why, there's a head, would you? Okay. Prepare to fire. We did it! We stopped them cold! Sir, they've shelled the bridge. We're trapped. I know, Robbins. And whoever it is, intends us to stay here for a while. Okay, Money. Let's call up our friends and talk terms. What do you want, Rial? A million dollars and a helijet. Are you crazy? No, Captain. I am not crazy. I want a million dollars in used banknotes and the heli jet put down a hundred yards from the gun. Tell the pilot to walk away, and we'll take over. And 
No rescue attempts, Captain, or that train gets it right away. You've got 30 minutes. Riel! Riel! Ah, he's cut off. What are you going to do, Uncle Pat? I don't know, Joe. But we must think of something fast. I've got an idea, Pat. It may sound pretty far-fetched, but I think it's your only chance. We've been here over half an hour now, Robbins. Is there any more news? No, sir. They're still demanding the ransom. But I think the bridge is cracking up. That conference will split right down the middle. Sir, there's no sense thinking about the conference now. I've got to think about it. It's the most important thing in my life. I don't know how you two talked me into letting Joe take that money up there. You're sure you want to go through with this, Joe? He won't trust any of your men, Captain. But he won't think twice about me. Mac? He's the best one to do it, Pat. Just be careful, Joe. They're dangerous men. Don't worry, Dad. I think I'd better be going, Uncle Pat. Wow. OK. Good luck, Joe. All right. They've had their 30 minutes. Fire a shot just over the train. Captain? Captain Moran. Rial, what was that shot? Your money's on the way up. Yeah, with one of your men bringing it. Reload money. No, Rial. The money's coming up with a young boy. He's only nine years old. He can't do you any harm. Oh, that's more like it, Captain. Good thinking. We'll be waiting. And so will the man on the train. This bridge won't hold up much longer, sir. It'll hold, Robbins. It's got to. If only we knew there was someone trying to help. There is, Robbins. There must be. Wasn't fooling. Here comes the kid. Wave him in. And then let's leave fast, okay, Rial? Rial, Captain Moran. The Helijet's flying in. You'll have it in ten minutes. Well, you're really seeing the light, Captain. Your boys just arrived with the money. We've met our part of the bargain, Rial. See that you meet yours. Don't worry, Captain. Okay, money. Let's check the suitcase. Right. You just sit still, kid. Real, look at this. A million bucks. What did I tell you, Money? Was it worth it? Boy, I've got mine spent already. Hey, kid. What's that case? He brought it with him. It's my special W.I.N. agent's case. Open it up. I said open it up. Transmitter. A gun? <laughs> you, you weren't expecting trouble, huh? I wasn't sure. Here's the Helijet money. Cover the pilot till he walks clear. Mr. Riel, can I send a message to Captain Moran? With that toy transceiver? Sure, kid, sure. You go right ahead. <laughs> Ready, money? This is Joe 90 to base. The helijet has just landed. The gun is unmanned. You can start the rescue. The pilot's clear. Let's get to the helijet.
Here we are. Look. They've started the rescue. What the... The kid. That transmitter. It must be real. And so is this gun. All right, that's far enough. Put your hands up. Just come forward. Slow. Morning. Can you make it to the Helijet? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You help him in here, boy. We've made it, sir. didn't work. Riel, what are you talking about? We're taking the kid with us, Captain. So don't get any ideas about trying to intercept us. They're getting away. I'm sorry, Mac. I never should have let Joe anywhere near them. We mustn't give up hope yet, Pat. And at least everyone on that train is safe. Hang on, Marnay. I'll put it into autopilot and come back there. Now you just sit there, boy. And don't make a move. Okay, Marnay. Now take it easy. You're going to be all right. Get away from those controls! understand they've turned back come on Mac let's get over there with your hands up. Joe, are you all right? Fine, Dad. Everything's all right. Joe? What happened? Where are Rial and Marnie? They're in there, Captain. They'll tell you all about it. I still can't get any sense out of those two. Rial keeps babbling about everything going out of control and some kind of W.I.N. agent. I was the WIN agent, Uncle Pat. After I got behind the controls, I jumped the heli jets around, keeping Rial off balance, till he fell against the side and knocked himself out. And then... Ah, business again. That's quite an imagination, Joe, but I sure would like to get to the bottom of this. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Joe? Yes, Dad? How did you fly that heli jet? The brain pattern of a jet sleigh driver wouldn't have helped. I don't know, Dad. I just felt I knew how to do it, and I did. Joe, either these brain patterns aren't wiping clean, and you're retaining some of them, or we've had a mix-up in the tape numbers. Well, I don't know the answer, Dad. Let me just check. 
Here it is. Ah, Guy Flambeau. Three times Olympic bobsleigh champion. What does it say just below that? All round sportsman, billiards champion, crack shot, and holds a helicopter pilot's license. Well, I'll be. What's that you've always told me about reading the small print, Dad? <laughs> 